little higher this time. Are you in a booster seat or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> the temperatures have been up and down here recently. We've had some warm temperatures and then we've gone back to having some cold temperatures once again. Uh, in this past week we had to make sure that we covered everything up because it did drop below freezing at night for a number of days. We had our low tunnels covered with plastic and we had our caterpillar tunnel secure and covered the plants that we have in there as well. But the wind was blowing so hard at one point that it actually blew the rope off of part of the caterpillar tunnel. And the rope is pretty tight, so I really don't know how the rope came off. Do you have any clue how it came off? No. No, but I was able to get it back on with no problem. And you look like you're staying pretty warm in this jacket here. Yeah. Staying warm and you look like you're going hunting. Are you gonna go hunt for some deer or, or some turkey or something? We actually saw some turkey this week, didn't we? Yeah. There were some turkeys just across, just down our driveway and across the road, there were some turkey. We tried to get some footage as you see here, but you really can't see the turkeys from the video, but we were able to see them pretty good, weren't yeah. we? <laughs> they ran off once we started, started going down there. Yeah, the, I think the uh, vehicle that we were in made them scared and they went off into the, through the woods and into the pastured area in our neighbor's yard. Yep. <laughs> One of the things that is really cool about the caterpillar tunnel, and this could go for a greenhouse as well, is when it's outside, when you're outside and it's cold, and then you go in there, and it's like going into a different season or a different country or something, just because <laughs> the climate and temperature, it just feels different. And I really like once I went inside the caterpillar tunnel and was able to see the lettuce and the cilantro that are growing. It just looks pretty cool and it just felt good in there. It almost felt tropical, didn't it? Yeah, like a tropical island. <laughs> like Costa Rica, Mexico, something like that. <laughs> Mexico is not a tropical island. Oh. <laughs> we'll have to get back to some geography. Geography? <laughs> geography. Oh. Yeah, we gotta work on that. <laughs> Even pronouncing some words. Yeah, it's like geography. Geography. Yeah, we'll work on that. <laughs> As I've mentioned in a couple vlogs, we are currently in a transformation phase with our market garden. We basically have had raised beds made with block and wood, but now we are completely doing away with all the block and wood, and we've gotten all that out, and now we're just reshaping our beds with the earth. And for those of you who don't know, our land is on a hill, basically where we have our garden, where we have our house. It's on a hill, so we basically had to terrace the land so that way it, our soil doesn't wash off and that we're able to keep our good soil intact and our plants as well and so that way our seed and everything else doesn't wash off. We've had to terrace it. So that is where we started with, with doing raised beds with the block and the wood, but now we're doing it naturally with the soil. We've, making, we're, we've made raised beds with the soil. One of the major tasks that I wanted to accomplish this week was expand our major walkway. Before the walkway, since I've expanded our middle bed, the walkway was pretty narrow and it made it very difficult to move around. So we, ex we worked on expanding that bed. So to start that process, I had to use the broad fork because our, like I said, we have our garden is on a hill. So I had to take part of that hill out, push it back. So that way there is our garden here, our middle garden, and then the walkway that I'm creating here, and then another garden bed here. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I started with the broad fork, knocking this hill, part of the hill out, and started taking the shovel and shoveling it. It would have been much more efficient to have an excavator or a skid steer to do this process, but we're getting behind, it needed to be done, and we didn't have access to those tools at this time. So I got my farm fit workout in, didn't I? As I was digging up the soil, I would put it in the wheelbarrow and then I would take the wheelbarrow and dump the soil in another area that we needed to actually have more soil in. And this was a pretty lengthy process and I was getting wore out. Thankfully, Lacey came to help me. At first I was wondering, where is everybody? Because I was out there by myself. But then mommy came and joined me. 
and got to her farm fit exercise in, didn't she? So finally, after I don't know how many wheelbarrows full of soil and broad forking and shoveling, we finally got the walkway mostly finished. But I shouldn't call it a walkway. I should call it more of a highway. <laughs> and why is that? Because me and Josiah like to drive our trucks back and forth, back and forth. Yes, Sayla has a little Tonka truck that she uses. <laughs> Josiah has a grave digger truck that he likes to use and they were racing back and forth in this highway in our market garden. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! I'm so glad that we got this major walkway finished, uh, this highway finished. <laughs> I can't express enough how important it is to have walkways in your garden. It can be real easy to have the mindset that you just want to grow, grow, grow and not have any walkways. But I have learned from experience the hard way that you want to make sure you have minor walkways and major walkways in place, especially if you have a large garden, large market garden that you're working in. It, it is important for efficiency, it is important for being able to not be hard on your body. Also if you have kids, one of the things that we learn with having the big raised beds, and this is one of the reasons why I did away with it, is it's also safer to have tidy, clear walkways that you can walk in without having to worry about falling and getting hurt or hurting your back trying to reach over to get to some of the plants that you're trying to work on. So walkways are very important. And we did some more walkways the next day. We were working on expanding another garden bed that we had from last year when where we grew flowers and over the winter we brought the chickens in just to kind of clear it up. This time we were prepping it and getting it ready. So Lacey got her farm fit in once again with using the broad fork. We dug trenches for walkways. Our walkways are 12 inches, our minor walkways are. So some people may do 16 inches or so, especially if you have kids, but we feel like 12 inches with the raised beds is, is good for us. Also our beds are 30 inches, which fits most of the standard tools and which is a standard for a lot of the market gardeners now. But you could also do 24 inches, especially if you're, you're shorter or you're older and you, you don't want to reach as far. But with our walkways the way that they are in our beds, uh, I can straddle our 30 inch beds and work in there efficiently. And we can just move around our beds, like I said, with having clear walkways pretty easy. 
After we've pretty much wrapped up this new section that we've prepared, our new garden area, we notice the smell. And this is Micah's cameo appearance in this vlog. And I ask him, are you pooping over here? Do you have a poopy diaper? No, you don't. <laughs> But he actually did have a booby diver. <laughs> and as mommy and I were working on this new section of garden beds, you had something that you were going to show us. What was it? My roly poly habitat. Yes, Sayla created a little roly poly habitat. <laughs> Sayla, what are you doing here? I am watering my roly poly habitat. Wow, cool. You have a little mini ecosystem going here, don't you? Yep. <laughs> Are you tired? Yep. I think mommy and I did most of the work. <laughs> I think from, from all that running back and forth, back and forth on the <laughs> highway make me, made me tired. Yeah, I'm pretty tired too. After all this farm fit exercise we got in this week, I'm tired. Me too. So let's call it a week. Yep. And let's call it a vlog too, right? <laughs> so that's it for this vlog. We're gonna go out and walk in our walkways in our garden and just enjoy it for a little bit and call it a week call it a day so we'll see you next